Hey guys, Little V here, and this is a Gibson Les Paul Gothic Custom. Now a couple of you have been asking for a review on this just because you want to see it and because it is a beautiful guitar. And uh, to truly understand how much I love this thing, I have to start with the story. Now uh, this story is on par with something in the lines of like a American Idol sob story, so uh, you might want some Kleenex handy because uh, this will hit you right in the feels. So. This guitar was the last guitar my dad was working on before he passed away. He almost had it done, and it uh, needed a switch and a volume pot, which uh, I took over to uh, my buddy Steve, who got the parts for me and even installed the coil tap so I can split the pickups in half. Yeah, I don't think anything on here is actually on a stock uh, Les Paul Gothic Custom. Most, if not all, the hardware is different. Pickups are definitely different. They're uh, a very low output pickup. So, uh, when the worst case scenario happened, uh, I went over there and, uh, brought back some of his collection too as well, but I brought back this thing because he was almost done working on it, but, uh, here's the real kicker, here is the, prepare your Kleenexes, this is gonna be a shot with feels. Uh, when I was out there, uh, doing the memorial, doing all that stuff, I was talking with, uh, one of his students at the time, and, uh, turns out, he was going to give this to me when he saw me next. And I was going to see him in about three days after he passed away. It was very sudden, no one knew, no one saw it coming. And uh, we had some gigs and we were going to record some stuff. So yeah, this was going, he was going to basically give this to me uh, a day or two after uh, it happened. So uh, yeah, right in the feels. not the best playing guitar I own, this is not the best sounding guitar I own, but damn do I feel inspired every time I pick this thing up. This thing, like when I'm having a bad day and I just want to come home and just strum on something, this is like the first guitar I always grab. And, you know, I brought back a lot of guitars with me from uh, my dad's collection and none of them, I don't think any of them are mine. I don't feel like any of them are mine. This feels like mine and it's awesome. Thank you guys for listening to me rant. Sorry this got a little bit heavy, but uh, yeah, like I said, this thing's got a good story. I've nicknamed it the All the Feels guitar, because it has all the feels, so. Anyways, rock on, peace out. We'll see you next time.